All right. For a moment, please forget these beautiful bicycles. Imagine I am a coffee producer. I bring lovely coffee beans from Brazil. I get help from expert in coffee industry, and I make the best coffee in the world. But I just give the coffee to our judges, you know? So what is this? It's not fair. How are you feel? How are you people in the room feeling? It's inequality, yeah? No, I understand about inequality. And no, I bring coffee for all people in the room. It would be amazing. But what is the mistake this time? This time, I ignore somebody that maybe have a sensitivity to caffeine and don't want caffeine. It's inequity. Then we don't consider all people, all needs, and all desire. Coming back to this slide, I'm a transport planner and I work on equity in cycling. Currently, considering equity in cycling projects is rarely a key objective. When we see literature review, lots of the works are about accessibility to bicycle infrastructure, but there are two layers that very, uh, people didn't consider them. One is population groups, and one is policy making and planning. My main objective in PhD is uh, people understanding people's perceptions role in equity in cycling. We combined uh, a method in engineering with psychology and behavioral science and made a, a make a model to understand how people are different, how people think different, and how people's desire and need is different about bicycle infrastructure. So the result could develop better policy for cycling, for equitable cycling environment in Auckland. So is it enough? I think it's not enough. The answer is no, because at the moment we have heaps of policy, heaps of policy in transportation and in equity in transportation, but in practice we cannot see that much. So I took one step further, and I want to understand what is the barriers to implement these policies in practice. We did interviews with policymakers and transport planners in Auckland to understand what is the barriers that we cannot implement those beautiful policies to practice and see a credible cycling environment. So the result of my PhD could be changing this statement of having good infrastructure for cycling to having fair bicycle infrastructure. Thank you.